Right, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to my CW. Today, welcome to Things I Learned on TikTok. So basically, this is just a bunch of TikToks that are supposed to teach you something, but they will probably, definitely be horrendous. Okay, he's in, he's in the plane. Oh wow, it's like a customizable machine that drops them on. This is also bollocks, right? He's only treating these with care because the camera's on and he don't want to lose his job. They definitely yeet them about in there. Okay, man in a fluffy hoodie. Well, get out the f***ing way. I thought you were part of the TikTok. What, what, what's under there? Well, if you would move, I could see it. Oh, I want to punch him in his stupid face. I should just All come. Right. Oh, what's that? What's it doing, mate? What does it do? Shit, it worked. What the heck? I never knew that. What the f***? What does that achieve? Things that are bigger than you think. Asteroids. Well, yeah, but that's just one asteroid. That's not all asteroids. Icebergs. No, that's just that's just a big iceberg. Piss off. Did anyone else know these car park mirrors were so squishy? No, that. Look at it. It's like it looks like Mercury. That see that that was cool. Whoever you are, whoever made that, well done. I'm assuming you're going to be the only good TikTok of this video. It's a good thing I watched all that Animal Planet as a kid. Or I would have mowed right over these little guys. Oh, who's under there? Let's see him. Oh, 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 a squirt. Bunnies. That's quite nice, though. They're just chilling. Okay, what are we doing with the PS2? Sony thought of that. Ah, I don't know. You could move. Oh, surely nobody ever, ever flipped that up. Wow. That's quite cool. That is quite cool. Thank you for teaching me that. You never know how high an alligator can jump. Wow! <laughs> how did he do that? He wasn't jumping, he like rose like a salmon. He was like he was being abducted. That was incredible. Look at him go. Like a big snake. That was amazing. Found out this is a scam. Yeah, of course, well, look at it. Of course it's a fucking scam. Anything though with that many bright lights is always a scam. Look at the oval hoops. Ah. If you're ever in this rare situation where you have a tiger shark approaching you, this is what- I'm just never gonna be in that situation. No, you know what? No, I'll hear you out. I'll hear you out. This is what you should do. As right. the shark gets closer, you bang, punch him right in his snout. Then press your hand down flat on the top of the shark's head and follow through while pushing your body over and away from them. Why would you choose to put yourself in that situation? Like, I know, like, uh, they've probably not seen the sharks and gone to meet them. But, like, even why would you just do. Oh, what? How does that happen? Have you ever wondered how we know which order is yours in the Ooh. drive through Our system takes a small yeah. picture of your car. So I know this order is theirs because it's a white car. Once you pay, it's gone forever. Oh, 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 what is that it? That was quite quick. I thought we were gonna get the whole process. I feel like I've been left short changed there, fella. Hey, am I the only one that didn't know this? You know that tab underneath your mirror? If you flip it, it takes all the bright lights away. People should not have driving license. So Americans should not have driving licenses. I was today years old when I learned it. Wow, it takes one at a time. It looks so polite. Nobody really uses cash anymore, do they? I just look at it like it's disease now. In college, I did my thesis on time perception, and I learned my favorite science story ever, which is how we learned that bees can perceive time. The Ooh. experiment is pretty straightforward. A scientist put sugar water outside of a bee's hive every day at 4 p.m., and soon enough, the bees learn to leave the hive every day at 4 p.m., even when there's no sugar water. Therefore, these bees must be measuring and perceiving time. Whoa, 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 hold your horses. What if the bees are just doing something else, like measuring the angle of the sun? So they did the experiment again, in the dark this time. They really, who cares? Well, people pay to find out if bees can tell the time. If they were, they shouldn't have been. Until one scientist did the exact same experiment, not in a salt mine, but in Paris, and then flew the bees to New York City, where they left the- What a fucking wasted, no one cares. Because bees perceive time. Uh, that's cool, thank you for telling me that, but who who made that their life's work? When you don't have a gift bag, but you're a shopaholic. Happy. What did that teach me? Who put that on the internet and uploaded it on a compilation of this teacher's use? Fuck off. When you don't want to finish your fries now. Just, just bin them. Just give it up. Just bin them. Like, you, what, you're gonna put them in your bag and half an hour later eat cold, soggy fries? They pretend to be like, oh, you know, this is what you've done all along. They, they designed it like this so you could fold it and seal the lid. Fuck off, it's just 
crumbled cardboard. Okay, the cat's tongues are all covered with... Ah, uh, that's just fucking gross. Papale, also known as barbs, are made of keratin. Oh, what? So they've got fingernails on their tongue. Why are you just rubbing off this fucking cat's tongue? That's horrific. That's absolutely horrific. Just so you know, the next time you're eating- I, I've got to go out of limb here. I don't like this. I don't like when medical people make TikToks. If they just creep me out, especially the dentist one. I just want to punch him in his fucking nose. Just so you know, the next time you're eating a pineapple, it's actually eating you back. That's why your mouth feels- Damn. After eating it. The reason why pineapple has a taste for human flesh is because it has an enzyme known as bromelain, which digests protein. And since your body is made of proteins, the pineapple you eat are trying to digest you, starting with your tongue and the roof of your mouth. But don't worry, once you swallow the pineapple, the acids in your stomach dissolve and destroy the enzymes. Wow. Sorry, I it. That back that was quite interesting. Oh yeah. We're doing this. Sorry about the wait. One. Two. What, is he seeing how many licks it's going to take him to get to the centre? This is going to be tough. Could he not have just used, like, a thing on Google? That is 4,000 licks. I would love to be this unemployed. 5,300 licks. I am getting there. I finally got to the centre, and I know it's the centre because the centre is like wow. a sweet tart. But it takes 7,013 licks to the centre of this big jawbreaker. Please don't let this flop, because this was a lot of effort. Oh, no, no it wasn't. All you did was eat a jawbreaker. Here's something you might not know about the iPhone. You can turn it into a computer mouse and- No, you can't. No, you can't. Me testing it out. It even has right click. To get the mouse, simply go to settings. Then scroll down to- You're, you're pulling my leg, fella. Some of these have actually been good. I was expecting these to just be- Very fluid, very simple to use. It's- Um, um. Mine's out of battery. Sorry. Ugh. That's all memory of beat. Ah. Uh. Canadian things Americans think are weird, part four. Yes, our milk does come in bags. Typically, it's three bags within one larger bag. You can still get cartons, and some people will do this, but it's way more popular for people to drink it out of these bags. I cannot tell you the amount of times. They get milk in bags! Big, and the milk's gone all over the countertop. Also, we put it in these pitchers, and that's how we store it in the fridge. So you stole all other liquids in just normal bottles and cups like everyone else does. But milk in a bag. Maybe the Canadians are worse. <laughs> I was today years old when- Okay, why are we shouting always? <laughs> I was- Like what you've done there is you've carefully, you know, positioned your camera, gone to press the button and gone, <laughs> Oh girl, oh, I was- Fuck off. That someone tells you to break a leg before an audition because they hope you end up in a cast. Huh? That's quite small. A TV show pilot is called a pilot because it's the first time it's on air. Well, that makes no sense. Sand is called sand because it's in between the sea and land. Sand. All right, you're, you're telling us good things, but I don't like you. Okay, oh, Venus flytrap. There's no way it can eat a chili. Wow, did the chili kill him? The chili killed him. He tried to scram the chili and it fucked it. That was pretty good. So our pond has always been super brown and my dad decided to try to dye it. He bought these packets that just dissolve in the water. But surely you need it like it's, cl it's cloudy. So we got another bucket full and they went out again. Um, and it looks really scattered, but the next day it turned out- <laughs> You've just painted your pool blue! That cannot be good for whatever has lived in there or lives in the local area. Hi, my name's Grace, I'm blind, and this is a Braille Note Tour. Contrary to popular belief, I can still use iPads, Macs, and phones. Hang on. If you're blind, how do you know what you're painting to? Here I am typing on the touchscreen just as if I have a physical keyboard. I'm hoping you can see that it says, Hello, my name is Grace, and I'm blind. This feature is really helpful for teachers and sighted peers. Fun fact, I can also use the internet on this. And it also has a camera on the bottom. That's my Braille note. If you have any questions, let me know. Why does the Braille computer need a camera? So your computer can see you, but you got something off about it. I don't trust that camera. Okay, Hello. so you guys want to send you one. Oh, God. Turning on the one. What have you done that for? It's like your fingernails. How do you scratch your ass? I'll make sure I get the soap everywhere. And I can do this without getting my fingers wet. You know, soap on the nail. Yes, they get a bath too. Why have you got such an attitude that, oh, it's actually really good having 
40 centimeter nails. It's obviously not. Don't look at me like that. Right, anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you again very soon. Goodbye.